Hey everyone, welcome to Alter Pro's Retro Video Game World. I've uh, got another special video for you here. Um, it's the first video I've done in a little while. I know I've not been around a lot. Recently I've just kind of gotten out of the habit, so I apologise, but I will be trying to get back into the habit of doing some videos. I've got some more videos planned to come soon. Um, we'll keep getting some more content out to you guys from my retro collection. Uh, yeah, so today's video is about a device that I purchased recently. Um, I saw it on Facebook a week or so ago and I read up on it and it actually it actually uh, really offered a, a, an amazing solution to a problem that I've had for a while which is that obviously my setup that I use to record my videos it's a bit cumbersome to say the least. I used to have just the PC monitor here and a massive old TV over there. Now I've moved that TV into the spare room and I've managed to get my the, the TV that was in the room, in the bedroom, in here because it's a nice small size but it does HDMI, it does v, v, uh, VGA, RCA component. It does everything that I could possibly need. So I've now got the opportunity to have my consoles connected to this and capturing via the PC to there Whereas before, I was running the cables across the room to over there, where the TV was over there. So it was a lot of hassle. And it's, it's also a lot of hassle to have the consoles connected and to actually use them. Because obviously you need all the cables, you need all the controllers, you've got to be able to go and get them. And I haven't got the space. So a lot of stuff lives in boxes and you've got to go and rummage through the boxes. And in order to get into these boxes, I have to take all the stuff off the top. So it's, it's a lot of shit and hassle. So... I kind of got out of the habit and you know it's entirely my own fault but you know this this item will hopefully solve this issue and get me back on the horse. Uh this is the yeah this is the Retron 5. It's uh it's a nice third party unlicensed bit of kit which again as I say I saw on Facebook and I just I was really tempted by it because it does it does a lot of really wonderful things. Um most importantly it allows me to use five, actually more than five, it allows me to use several consoles via the same unit. And it's HDMI out, it upscales the picture to 720p for every console. Capturing from the HDMI is really crisp and really perfect. Before, depending on the console, you had to use RCA or S-Video and the quality was a mm, bit shit to say the least sometimes. Um, so this really improves the capture quality. But it also just makes it a much simpler process because it means I've got one HDMI port going to my Elgato capture device and then it bridges to the TV. So I haven't got to keep getting out the consoles and getting out the cables and wiring it up and powering it up and dicking around. It's a, it's a lot easier process. So, um, so yeah, so Retron 5 is made by Hyperkin. Um, it's available on fun stocks in the UK. Uh, it will set you back £129 for the c console and one controller. You can pay an extra 30 odd quid and get a second controller, but there's really not a lot of point. If you're like me and you've got all the original controllers, you're only really going to use this for going around the menus for, and it's there for aesthetic, really. Um, so, anyway, about the device, a lot of people have written it, uh, marked it down a few points for its, uh, for its build quality, but I think the black version, which is the second. Uh, version of this it's not the gray one it's the black one um, yeah the black one's a lot sturdier uh, this plastic in the gray one was flimsy and it was loose and you could pull it really badly but this this one's really sturdy um, and the way this works you've got Bluetooth controller so it's got a wireless controller which is good it's cool I like that it's modern like the Xbox or whatever um, but it allows you to have all your controllers from the original consoles and you can mish and mash so if I just go through what systems it does, it's got a slot for the Genesis and Mega Drive all in one because obviously it's the same style, same same shape of slot. Uh, you've got a SNES slot, uh, you've got a NES and a Famicom. Now obviously the Famicom and the NES, they have different style, different shape um, cartridges. So it made sense to have a Famicom slot specifically for those from Japan. Uh, there's a Game Boy, Game Boy Color and Game Boy Advance universal slot in the front. Um, there's Mega Drive, SNES and NES one player, Mega Drive, SNES and NES two player down the sides. 
And yeah, so what I was saying is it's got obviously HDMI out, it's got a USB slot to charge the controller, and it's got an SD card slot. So I can't remember how much RAM there is, uh, how much RAM, how much memory storage there is inside this. I think it's about three or five gigabytes, which is good because what it does, it runs an Android operating system, and when you put the cartridge in, it immediately downloads a copy of the ROM to make it faster to load, and then it displays the name of the game, and yeah, then you can, it, it rips the saves off the cartridges if there are any, like Super Metroid, there are saves on the cartridge, or Super Mario All-Stars, there'll be saves on the cartridge, and it rips them off and backs them up. Now when the console came out in, uh, it was the end of summer last year, um, apparently there was problems you could remove the, the saves from the carts but then there was trouble uploading them back onto the cart so I think that they fixed that in the latest firmware but um, anyway what I was what else I was going to say was that the uh, the system also allows for up updates and firmware updates which I did the other day uh, upon release this console did not support playing a game through the Sonic and Knuckles cartridge um, but I downloaded the firmware upgrades and now the Sonic and Knuckles cartridge works when you plug a Sonic 2 or Sonic 3 or whatever into the Sonic and Knuckles cartridge it now works so they are improving it they are working on making it better uh, and I'm so far I haven't had any problems with compatibility I've, every cartridge I've put in has worked perfectly the only one cart that didn't work all that well was the original Sonic on Mega Drive the uh, the game had some sound issues but it's not a big issue it doesn't affect the game that much and I think if I delete the ROM and reinstall it again it might even might even be better next time but hopefully they'll be releasing updates to the Android operating system anyway so um, so yeah the operating system is really nice interface it's got it's got this nice 720p looking uh, you know good quality screen and menu you can go in there you can you can move the controllers around so if you like the SNES controller and you want to play it on all of them you can do that you can tell it to default to the SNES controller same with the NES or the Mega Drive so if you're like me and you've got all the original controllers you probably won't use that much at all um, I'm probably going to be using the Genesis controller for the Mega Drive because and for probably the SNES and a few other consoles as well because I just much prefer the Genesis controller so one of the other really great things about this system is that although it doesn't say that it will support it on the case or on the system or on the box or anywhere in the com in the documentation or anything like that even though it doesn't say that it will support this it will take the master system and I'm really happy about this because it means that the only systems that this system that this thing doesn't support are things like the Mega CD the 32X and then obviously the CD based consoles uh, and obviously the Jaguar and the NEC so this covers a wide range of systems that I'm going to be using so if you have this piece of kit like me the Powerbase adapter which allowed Master System games to play on the Mega Drive you'll be able to play Master System cartridges and card games and it works even it works really well it, it recognizes the name as well which I was surprised about and yeah so I'm very happy that the Mega Drive and the Master System both work on this couple other things about the system obviously the Game Boy games they're really low resolution and if you force them into the 720p they look they look quite old they look quite horrible I don't know how to how else to explain it the Game Boy Advance looked fine um, the picture was a bit pixely it was a bit rough around the edges but I put some filters on this the the, uh, the picture because the system has filter options uh, I put one or two filters on and Sonic Advance it suddenly looked really really good and it cleared the picture down it's, it almost sort of smoothed it down sort of if you were looking at it through an old TV and uh, so it just flattened out some of the edges which was really nice and it looked good and all the sound is pretty good um, and the other stuff that this thing can obviously do is a lot with the SD card slot you can use that to upgrade the uh, the firmware and the system you can update the system with uh, system updates from the website uh, but you can also use it to store your games store your saves and you can upload cheats to it as well and it will if there are any cheats it will use them and it will give you the option to use them and the other good thing about it is because it's an Android system it also has all of the, the wonderful features of 
an emulator system. It will allow you to save the state immediately, it will allow you to load, and it will allow you to to change the picture. It, it, it allows everything basically. You can stretch it to fit this, you can go back to the original resolution if you want, you can put filters on, you can, you can change the way it loads. It's really, really cool. Yeah, so if you're like me and you're in the situation where you haven't got the space, you haven't got the le the um, the room, you haven't got the the amount of space that you need to have all these systems connected at the same time, um, and if you're not completely obsessed with using the original hardware like some of these retro uh, elitists are, then you'll agree that this is a this is a good solution for my channel and for my own personal enjoyment of the retro games. Um, I just I hope that some of you guys out there who, you know, who you're very uh, you're very fond of your retro systems and games and everything, you won't get upset that I'm not using the original hardware anymore, because for me it's just going to be a lot easier to use this than have to get them all out of their boxes and find them and plug them in and connect them up. You know, it's just going to be a lot easier. So it means I'll be able to make more videos, I'll be able to make better content, I'll be able to make better quality videos, and the. Um, the resolution will be a lot better the you know the picture quality of the games so yeah so if i had to say if i had to give this a score i'd give it a seven or eight out of ten um i mean they could have done more with it they could have included the game gear they could have included maybe they could have tried to include the 32x um and apparently it doesn't support game genies or things like that but you don't really need them because you can upload cheats and it does the multi-region anyway, so you don't need the Game Genie to play a region, an American uh, cartridge, for example. Uh, so yeah, all in all, seven, maybe eight out of ten. I quite like it personally, uh, and I will do another video after this one, uh, which will be a part two about the system, and it will basically just be me trying games and including footage of the games as well, um, and, I'll, and I'll go a bit more into whether I've found any problems with other games because obviously I haven't tried all of my games yet but I will hopefully get them all tried soon and yeah so that video will be uploaded after this one after a couple of days uh, I'll have to edit the footage and edit the video and edit the capture so it will take a little while but I'll get that up for you as soon as I can uh, meantime if you're interested in this and you want to talk about it just send me a message or um, you know I'll be on the retro video gamer forum Otherwise, I hope you've enjoyed the video and I shall see you soon.